So welcome. We're having a quick little conversation here about an event that's coming up. My name is Sue Jume. I'm an intuitive healer, ordained minister, and best-selling author and speaker. And I am here because I have two very special people that are coming to Vancouver to share their hearts and their gifts with the world here. And I want to take a moment to introduce you to them and have a conversation about this event. So welcome to Paul and Victoria. So glad you're both here. Hi, Sue. Hello. Okay. Thank you for having us. No, thank you for being here and for coming and for sharing your hearts. And I want to talk about voices of consciousness. So I don't know, Paul, do you want to begin? Because I feel like you, you've had one event already, but you have, I feel like you have this grand vision around it. And I'd love to hear more about what it is that, that really your intention is around it. Absolutely. Um, so first of all, I, I think the big intention really for me right now is that I feel like um, the ultimate goal of, of uh, Voices of Consciousness is to bring people together and build bridges is sort of how I see this or, or envision this. And, you know, I think the big part of this is I think music brings people together. So I write conscious, loving, kind music to bring um, basically or inspire global love and kindness. And what has happened in my life is that I feel very much that music and the people that I know around the world are starting to come together more and more. So I had this vision in 2020 um, to start doing uh, essentially a collective um, building of bridges with voices of consciousness, which brings light to, I think, love and action and consciousness and action. So I love talking and, you know, that's wonderful. But I think in action, there's much more... Um, power when we unite together in a group and hold space open together and i really uh, feel called and guided to sort of open up these containers if you will of people doing wonderful things that are going on all around the world and my music is sort of i have little pockets all around the world so my intention was to make sure that i open up space where where that's happening and also um, I think ultimately support other people doing wonderful things. So that's the vessel and the, the intention. Yeah. Beautiful. I love that. And I know for, for you with your music, you've been writing this music for, for probably a lifetime really. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's true. And uh, your, your music is very like a, a clean, clear, channel for love i really feel like i can feel the vibrational attunement to your music i can feel your heart in the music i can feel your soul i can feel the divine speaking through you and it's quite beautiful and for anybody who hasn't listened to paul's music i would highly encourage you to do that well i'll put a little clip at the end so that you can actually have an experience of it but i love the coming together in person i know there's a lot of uh, you know, I have a global community. It's all online, right? So all of my work is online. It's virtual. I do do some live events, but not as much as I used to. And I find that so many more people are on social media and connecting that way. And we have these virtual bridges, which are fabulous because they keep us connected globally and it kind of dissolves those geographical boundaries. But to be able to come together in person with one single intention which is really love expanding love love and action and being these voices of consciousness whether it's coming through spoken word or through lyrics or through song it's i feel like it's so important right now for more of us to come together in community victoria can you share a little bit about when when paul reached out to you and and how you felt kind of coming in to participate in in this type of event Absolutely. Well, the great thing is, is that I knew from the beginning that it was divinely inspired and divinely led. So I never had to go through that negotiation process in my head, which was, do I do this? Do I not do this? I felt like the gates of heaven had opened wide and said, here's your gift. Mm -hmm. And working with people, teaching them to learn how to love themselves more. And no matter how long they've been working on that self-love piece, just to go a level deeper and deeper really is my goal in life, is to help heal the planet. And I think that when you combine these powerful words with the beautiful music, it just drops your soul down into a completely different level where you are absolutely able to heal 
old wounds that maybe you thought that you couldn't even touch before, things about anger, things about forgiveness, and just really through that process, learn how to love yourself more. Beautiful. I love that. We could all learn how to love ourselves more. So we're so programmed to judge ourselves. We're programmed to judge each other, but we're really programmed to judge ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's our, our biggest critic is the one within us. That inner voice. The thing that I just wanted to say also too with both of you, I feel very much that the universe aligns those that are meant to come together. And I think we're living in a time where, and I'm going to say this, I think we're, a lot of us are obsessed with, I think, ultimately fame. Um, I've met a lot of people that are very interested in, you know, the famous aspect of, I think, spirituality in many ways. And for me, the thing that I really want to focus on within these these particular um, coming together moments is that I think it's important that we recognize that we're actually the heroes in our journey, not other people. And I have seen a lot of, you know, the new tele-evangelistic sort of style of, um, I would say, um, you know, the spiritual movement. And for me, I really want to sort of bring it back to the real hero is actually everyday people, people, the ordinary people, everyday people that do wonderful things as parents, as people that work in um, various industries. Um, and I think this is the thing that I feel very called and guided to do is to support people again. And I think we're sort of so fixated on famous sort of, I think, storylines. And I think really the famous people in the in the world to me are actually the everyday person that in many ways and oftentimes struggles. I know I have, um, and I think anyone that's really sort of, I would say spiritual in many ways has actually lived um, in many ways some struggles. And I think this is what I really want to support. My father took his own life in uh, 2011. And I think that, you know, I love fame for its own offerings, but I think I sort of want to get sort of back to basics, which means the everyday person and supporting people in community um, in a way that's very relatable and very real um, and supporting them from the inside out. Um, which means, you know, just accepting them as they are, um, whomever shows up, and remembering that we're here together to help each other as brothers and sisters. And I think through music, there's a vibrational integrity that happens with music, where you feel, um, I think, something that is hard to have from someone that you, you know, you might see online. Um, and I think by holding the space open, something happens to us when we unite together and have a community. So I just wanted to say, you know, and this is why I love what Victoria does and what you do, Sue, because you actually deal with everyday people, which in my opinion are the real movers and shakers of the world, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, we, we can look at anybody actually in the world who's had impact whether that be you know, a teacher in your life. I remember my grade 12 counselor changed my life completely because she believed in me in a way that I didn't believe in myself. So we, we can never underestimate the power of one person to have impact mm -hmm. and long lasting impact on someone's life. So I love that you're talking about like, you know, really honoring the heroes in our life, but also honoring ourselves as the hero within our life, but also you know, the impact that we have on other people, however big or small it is, all impact is, is important right now. Because when we look at what's happening in the world and we can look in any one direction and we can look through the lens of fear and, and become horrified, or we can look through the lens of love and say, okay, I can look upon all of this with compassion and empathy and as much understanding as possible. And then the question really becomes, what role am I meant to play? Mm -hmm. And I love what you're saying, Paul, is, is bringing a group of conscious individuals together in, at one event. And I know you're doing more than just the Vancouver, Calgary, and beyond. And we can talk about that in a minute. But to bring people together with, with the shared intention of expanding love and being love in action has immeasurable impact. And you know, when you talk about music and even just the intention to grow, join together, it becomes one big vibrational tuning fork and it affects everybody who comes directly and indirectly, everybody who is impacted by that person afterwards. 
So it feels like for me, it's just a scrumptious event to, to attend. <laughs> so if anybody is thinking about it or sitting on the fence, I'm like, come and join and just be in that loving embrace of the music, of, of the conversation, of the energy of, of the participants and people who are showing up. It's, it's something that I think everybody can really benefit from. Beautiful. And I'm glad you mentioned that, Sue, because we do want to let people know that even it is, even though it is in the United Church, it is completely open to everyone. Uh, whether you go to church every Sunday at a different church, if you have never set foot in the church in your life, this is just a beautiful healing space. And we've chosen the venue of the United Church and are so thankful for them for opening their doors to us uh, so that we can offer this blessing into you, into your life which you will take home from there and then carry forward into your family's lives as well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And what I also want to say too, is by coming, it gives an experience emotionally with each other with, I always like to talk about emotional intelligence. Um, and what I love about what we all do is we support community online as well. So my goal is, although, you know, we have just this one moment, we have many moments in the future where people meet people from all over the world doing wonderful things. So then we unite together in a community. And that's something that we are all passionate about. I know Victoria has an online community and I know you do as well soon. So do I. And this is the thing that happens is friendships of community form around the world because we have access to each other through what we do. And we support that every day. So I love that this is also the intention is moving forward after this event on January the 14th and January the 15th in Calgary. Um, we can then also support in community through online tools as well. And it's free. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, one thing we always say is that we may be leaving town, but we're not going anywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. We're love here that. for you. Yeah. Love it. So Paul, can you speak a little bit more about where you go beyond the Vancouver and Calgary? I and mean, you have a vision of, yeah. you have other dates as well. So the way that I've started this, so I've started this in 2019. Um, we're recording this right now on the 27th of December. So we're just ending the year right now. And um, the intention is really this year was to, to start this actually in my hometown. So I actually did the first one in London, Ontario in Canada, which is where I'm from and I, where I wrote all of my music. Um, and then I did sort of actually the first and the second one, which was the bigger one in Toronto, which was with um, the, uh, essentially the intention to support where I actually record my music. And I did that intentionally with um, one of my good friends um, flew in from Oslo. Another good friend flew in from um, New York and then another friend from Toronto. And I brought these wonderful speakers together in Toronto to sort of amplify the start of this, the inaugural real big one. And then from there, um, I won't go too much into detail about what that was, but then now moving into the new year, which is where we're going next, is Vancouver on my birthday, which is January the 14th. And then um, there'll be one in Calgary on January the 15th, the next day. And this is with Victoria um, in the West, who actually, just to give light to this, we chose sort of, the universe aligned us, but we chose to do this because Victoria supports Heal Your Life um, work, which is Louise Hay. And Louise Hay's work, in my experience of many, many healing modalities, let's call it, um, is really, really, really um, just purely good and I trust it. So Victoria and I met because of Louise Hay and for anyone that knows um, Louise Hay's work knows what I'm talking about and for anyone that doesn't, Louise was known for for helping people to essentially um, use affirmation work to help essentially the inner voice and self-love being the key. Um, and the thing that I just want to touch on is my music was used to honor her birthday um, which was for her 90th birthday in San Diego in front of 2,000 people. So this is what sort of united uh, Victoria and I together. And Sue, I met you. I love that, you know, you have the Canadian connection. And I really felt guided to start this in Canada because I really want to start this energy starting to flow and bloom. Um, and I think Canada has something really special to offer the world. I think we're often really quiet people, Canadians. Um, I think we have sort of more of a passive approach sometimes to things. Um, but I think that we offer something that's beautiful because we're 
we're very much multicultural and we believe in the world being one, I think, ultimately. And that's something that we have as a gift. So I love starting this in Canada with the intention of peace, inner peace being the goal. And then moving on, I'm actually flying to um, Oslo um, in Norway to do my next event, which is um, going to be actually uh, in February on the 22nd. And then I'm also doing one in Copenhagen, which is going to be on the 26th. And this is all about supporting community all over the world. And then I'm coming back to Toronto to do one at a women's shelter actually on March the 12th um, in Toronto. And then from that point forward, I wanted to just see what showed up in the next three months to then move into the next part of uh, the Voices of Consciousness to see what shows up. But I feel like there's gonna be one in California with Louise Hayes circuit in some way, shape or form. Um, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. I love that. So when people come in January, it's your birthday. So we get to celebrate your birthday with you. Mm -hmm. And also when people come, I almost feel like you're going to receive the gift because we're going to be all there to, to celebrate you. But I, I, I do feel that everybody that comes or feels inspired to show up will receive such a gift that day as well. So it's, it's in celebration to all of us Absolutely. everywhere. And even those that don't attend, I feel like it's going to be a gift because our intention is really about, yeah, let's bring those, those voices of consciousness together. Let's bring those light leaders, light workers, people that are inspired to just be a vessel of love or a vehicle of love in the world, show up, let's infuse each other with that and let's vibrationally attune everybody with, with love in action and then let's go off and play our, play our role in other people's lives and let's have the impact that we're meant to have. So it's like almost like a high tide raising all of us up in that time together and then being able to have that ripple effect that continues to impact other people in our lives directly and indirectly. So and I think, I, yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say, I think too that a lot of times through the holidays, we can be in this high vibration of love and we can just use this event to launch us into what it is that we want for 2020, you know, that clear vision for 2020. And on the other side of that, a lot of times in January, people get that little bit of a Christmas emotional hangover. And, you know, they've been around family and friends or, and things are winding down and they're thinking about all the things they wanted to do this year and they didn't do. And if you're needing a place to reset, to really reconnect with who you are, this is the place for you to be. I just wow. wanted them all to know that. Yeah. I think it's important too. And I think this is the, I, I will say, you know, I'm an empath. I'm incredibly sensitive. I actually really don't like January personally. I'll say this out loud. I find it's always really weird in January because it's the start of a new engine. I always think you have to sort of set the dial in January and it's ironic. It's my birthday. So it's always been this odd after Christmas, after new year's. And I always say January energy is almost like it's very flat and you have to sort of start the, the engine again. So I did this on purpose on my birthday because I really want to start an engine for 2020, a new decade, a new beginning, a fresh start, no mistakes. And I really want us to sort of leap forward with um, the idea that we can do this together. None of us are big enough to do this alone. And when we do this together, something happens. There's a synergy, there's a connection, there's a coming together, there's a support. And what I don't like about Hollywood is it doesn't support us. What I like about what we do is we support each other. And I think we need to start recognizing that this is the change the world needs. It's coming together, holding space for each other, and actually doing something to amplify good in action. And I think when we do this, and my plan is as we move into the, you know, the next year, you know, the, the 21, you know, 2021, I want to sort of use this as the base to then move forward again and amplify again, more love, more goodness, and then so on and so forth throughout this next decade. And I think when we do this, we ascend together into a space of togetherness. And I really feel that when we start supporting each other in this way by holding hands with tangible real life people um, mm -hmm. something happens magical in our own life because that and I've seen this time and time again with what I do around the world and I'm sure you have Victoria and you have Sue is when you start supporting each other the world starts supporting you 
and this, this breathing and this goodness starts happening more and more and more and you start to thrive in ways that you can't otherwise thrive by yourself and that's sort of my, my my goal in this so i just wanted to touch a little bit on that sort of new sort of expansion energy mm -hmm. i love that and what i was just getting a vision when you were talking is like you know we have these experiences in life where again like i was saying we're bombarded right now and if you look through the lens of fear there's a lot of things we could feel very defeated by or worried about or afraid of and what i'm seeing is just like more more people coming together and creating these like pockets of unification and these pockets of families that are like yes. founded in love and it doesn't have to be your blood relatives it can be these extended families so what i was just seeing i'm like oh there's a voices of consciousness family forming and what you're doing is kind of gathering all of your 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 family members and saying hey come this way you know this is somewhere where you can stand up and be who you are and be fully mm -hmm. loved and accepted and actually embraced and celebrated not just accepted and we all have you know a beautiful role to play in this world and when we can actually stand knowing that we've got some people behind us that are you know our mighty companions then we're unstoppable really it becomes this this we become this force for love and and we can't be stopped after that and i i know a lot of us and i know me included there was a period of time where i felt like i was lone wolf um a pioneer in my field but also a lone wolf feeling like i really had to do it on my own and I realized over the years it doesn't work that way and and what used to work doesn't work anymore anyways so the more I come into community the more I stand and find those like-hearted individuals that are really authentically genuinely standing in love the more empowered I feel and and that's what I really feel like a lot more people need these pockets of unification and these places where they can go and be themselves fully, wholly, and completely and, and have the impact that we're all meant to have. And this, this is just one of those, one of those events that would really foster that. So I want to encourage everybody just to come, come and experience it, feel it for yourself. There, there's nothing that we can say that will give you the experience that you will have if you just show up just get your ticket show up bring a friend bring a family member and expect miracles that's yep. really all it's about <laughs> Fun. Yes, yes i like that expect miracles and do know that we expect this to be a powerful evening of divine love and when we say divine love we mean the love that is already within you the love that's in the hearts of the other people around you this is not going to be an evening where there's guilt and shame and fear this is an evening of divine love it is a beautiful gift to you and you deserve to have that healing in your heart so by all means please give it a chance it's a couple hours of your life after it's all over we are going to after the concert is over with paul we are going to have a bit of a social time we want to get to know you we want to talk to you face to face and see how you're doing and hear your go ho go hopes and hear your dreams and just know that everything going forward for you in 2020 will also be based in divine love. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've set it up so that there, I always like to do events with coffee and tea time afterwards with a sweet or, a, you know, some sort of a snack. So we've arranged to have that social special time um, to do that very thing. And I've always found at the end of, um, you know these events it's really cool because people have a chance to really interact with one another and that's actually the best part about it so to me that's actually sort of like the best way to end something is to hold that sort of space together um, and to share you know whatever dialogue you're feeling in your heart and sort of bringing that forward and sort of leaving a space or a gap for what's next. And um, I love that, just that social of breaking of bread or you know that idea of just community. So beautiful. Yes. Well, our goal is to inspire you and to help you move forward, experiencing your own life purpose. And you know, sometimes when we can just share time with each other and have those short discussions, that's where the magic happens. 
Yeah, so one of the things I just feel like I'm sort of being guided to say here, so let's actually go through just sort of what we're doing at this yeah, event. Okay. So first of all, Sue is going to offer a beautiful meditation, um, which I'm really excited about because that I love that space. When you start an event, I always think going within, you know, just to sort of go from your head to your heart in some capacity, um, I think just sort of opening that up inside. So that's what you're going to do, right, Sue? Yes, I'm going to combine a meditation. It's called a meditative uh, teaching mm -hmm. and what I do is I blend a lesson and a blessing so I call it a blessing so, so I'm going to deliver a blessing and bring people out of their head and into their heart my intention for this event is to break your heart wide open to receive the love that's available to you in that event and beyond beautiful so that's that's your part and then Victoria just explain sort of your offering and so then I will be uh, coming up and giving a talk, which uh, will not be like a sermon, but will be like an interactive talk with you, uh, sharing just ways that we can really learn to love and accept ourselves. And I know it sounds a little bit easy when we just talk about it on the surface. Oh, I love myself. But then we start digging a little bit deeper and finding those little pockets that are hidden, or maybe there's some fear or there's some resentment or some things that you need to look at a little bit more carefully because they are causing patterns in your life that you are not actually wanting. So we are going to spend some time just learning how to love yourself, learning how to quiet the inner critic, uh, learning how to really be patient with yourself, to treat yourself as your best friend, and just to be loving to yourself and to other people, no matter what the situation is around you. And I want to assure you right now, this is something that you can do. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, I think that's really exciting. And that's the work of Louise Hay that, you know, I think is so relevant to today's times. So hence why I know that we've united to do this. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is then take us through what I like to call is a songversation. So I have seven albums, almost 100 songs that I have to choose from. And my work is really about ascending into the highest self into manifest. Because when we're in this emotional space within, and I love music, especially conscious music, because it's an opportunity to go inside. So I'm going to guide us through an emotional, I would say, dive within through music that is very tried, tested and true, that's used in clinics, therapies, it's used um, in schools and hospitals and healing centers, hospices all around the world. And I really want us to dive inside our inner space together so we can actually bring that into focus and out of us together. And it's almost like a fresh new breath that you've never taken with your heart is how I, I like to sort of focus in on that. And what happens after we do that is this new space opens in a vibrational intelligence or frequency where divine love is sort of in the room because of our love from inside. Mm -hmm. And then that actually opens up an opportunity to do something great. Then the social time after that, and then, the best part is to sort of see what then the universe has to offer us in the next space of life. And that's where our social communities come in. And, you know, I'm very accessible. I know all of, you know, you are Victoria and you are Sue. And we're there to sort of hold that sort of space open for people um, afterwards. So that's through the sort of the online aspect. Um, and that said, that's sort of the, the event in a nutshell. It absolutely is. Can I talk about tickets in a nutshell? Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So for both the Calgary and the Vancouver events, you can go to my website, which is victoriajohnson.org, and there'll be links that pop up to, to buy your tickets for either Calgary or Vancouver. And the same thing with Paul's website. And Paul's website is B Kindness, but B has an extra E. So B E E kindness.com he says the b is for pollinating love around the world which i'm loving and uh i think that we should offer them a little i know we haven't talked about it ahead of time but i think we should offer them a little coupon code uh to be able to get a discount on their tickets i'm a little Perfect. spontaneous how do you like me now <laughs> discounts are great i love a good deal <laughs> okay so how about for this one um for the one in vancouver when you get to the point where you put in your key, key um, discount code, you could use the word United 
in all capital letters and wait for this, it will give you a 50% discount on your tickets. So that would be uh, United in capital letters. So your tickets would then go from $44 each to 22. And we encourage you to pick up a ticket for a friend. These things are always amazing when you can talk about them afterwards and follow through with each other's growth and everything that's become of it. And in Calgary, let's use the coupon code FAMILY. Okay, so again, all in capital letters, family, we encourage you to bring a friend. The venue in Calgary is a little smaller, so you'll need to get on that right away. And we just are so excited to see you. It is just two weeks away, and we will be there for you. We hope that we will see you there as well. Yeah, so the times, just go through the times as well, um, sure. just while you're doing that. All right, so we will be in Vancouver. Uh, Voices of Consciousness, and it is January 14th, 2020, and it will be from 7 till 9.30, and the tickets are $44 each or two for 77, so you guys can get some crazy good deals with these discount codes. Again, my website is victoriajohnson.org, and Paul's is beekindness.com. Both of those websites will take you to the links for the tickets. When you get your tickets, you can either just show us on your phone or if you're wanting to print them out, you're welcome to print them out as well. And in Calgary, the following evening, on January 15th, we are at the Center for Spiritual Living and the start time is the same, 7 p.m. When you do buy your tickets, use the discount code FAMILY. And when you get the email that will be generated from buying your tickets, it will give you the address for the Center for Spiritual Living as well. So you'll have all of that there. And also on my website and on the tickets is my phone number. You can call or text me anytime the day of the event. If you are having any trouble locating anything, I'm happy to help you. And just so you know, if you go to my website, just so that you know, on my website, I've made it really simple so that you can just go to beekindness.com and I just have a quick link and it will go right to the ticket site. Um, if that's, you know, I don't know if that's of interest, but it's really, it's at the top on the homepage. Just if you're searching for tickets and you can't find them, it's just at the top of my homepage. And you just click that link to say, click here for each event and uh, it will go right to the purchase page for Victoria's, um, what she just explained. Yes, and if you are a spiritual entrepreneur with um, clients, that you, this would be a great gift to give to your clients. If this is something that you're wanting to share with your family to get them all together, again, a nice gift for them, or just, you know, a girl's night out and uh, everybody taking care of their own ticket. However it works, we just want to see you there because we know how much you'll be blessed. Mm -hmm. And our heart is just overflowing with excitement for you. Yeah, and this is the first time I'm visiting the West Coast um, in Canada, so it's sort of inaugural um, for me too. I'm really excited that the first time I'm seeing Calgary and Vancouver is singing, which is kind of fun. And on his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll be singing to you. Yeah. yeah, I would love that. And maybe we can sing together. That sounds good too. Lovely. Beautiful. All right. Thank you all. I love you both. And everybody who's tuning in and watching this, I'm just going to encourage you to, to follow your heart. I can feel that you feel a nudge. You're curious, deeply curious. You're feeling that kind of spark or that curiosity or that wonderment about it. Just come and experience it. Come and feel it for yourself. Come and join us and celebrate you and and us and Paul's birthday and Voices of Consciousness and we'll do that all together in a celebration of love. I love and I will say one other thing that's just coming to me. So yeah. I'm a medium. This is just coming to me. So they're wanting me to share just the pure essence of who we are. And there's going to be some, I think the part of this that's coming through is just that there's going to be some some of that um, subtle energies which are oftentimes from the other side so louise hay you know she's transitioned on the other side um, we have sylvia brown these are big people that are with me all the time dolores cannon um, and these are people like dr Amoto. Um, and i feel that our loved ones will show up in this space because that's sort of what we're doing here too so i think it's just important if you feel like there's a connection you want to make to the other side this is the kind of event that will do that. Um, and I've seen it many, many times in my concerts, and I'm sure with your work, Victoria, 
and yours, Sue. So I just want to sort of leave that, you know, that um, metaphysical space open to understand sort of what we're doing here too in that relationship to the other side. Um, we're all very spiritual in this way. And I think you are too. And this is an opportunity to explore what some of that is. Um, and not so much the way that it's been done with other people. This is sort of a new opportunity for, I think just the energies of our times where we're starting to realize that we're much more metaphysical than we realize. So to open up to that bloom that you are, okay? So. Beautiful. Uh, absolutely. And I think that the more we learn to love ourselves, the more aware we are of those signs around us. Mm -hmm. So it's never anything that is threatening in any way. It's just those little still small hints that our families give us that, hey, I'm here, that our loved ones give us, that we can take direction from them moving forward and to know that we are divinely supported by them as well. Um, I just want to share a quick story. Yesterday I was sitting at my kitchen table, or I guess it was, uh, yeah, yesterday, no, Christmas Day, and my mother was a huge lover of birds. I live way up north in Alberta where, trust me, I haven't seen a bird for a while. And uh, I'm sitting at the table and I just happened to be with both my, my sons uh, right in front of the window. And all of a sudden there's this big flock of birds just, just flies in and sits in the tree and just hangs out with us while we're eating dinner. And it's being aware of those signs and loving yourself enough to be able to accept, you know, hey, that's just mom coming for a visit and it's okay. And I believe those types of miracles will be happening uh, at the event with Paul and Sue as well with their beautiful, powerful energy. And we just really invite you to come and learn the most you can learn about you, to get into that place of divine love and just let the universe do the miracles. Mm -hmm. Yep, beautiful. I love it. Ah, I love you. I love it. I love it all. I'm excited. So. Yes. Yeah, thank you both for coming and sharing and just having this conversation because I feel it's helpful for people to understand how how is this event different than all the other events that are available in Vancouver and Calgary and there's lots of different choices we have right now but if you're meant to come to this one you'll know it deep down in your heart and of course your ego will make up all the excuses of why you shouldn't be there I'm mean, I encourage you to come anyways and break through those 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 self-imposed barriers those Program it, that programming in the mind and really follow your heart and follow that nudge and make a conscious choice for love. And we will see you at Voices of Consciousness in Vancouver. Maybe, maybe they'll see you in Calgary too and beyond, but um, definitely join us. We would love to see you. Thank you both again for coming Thank you so and much. sharing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in Vancouver.
says it goes and shine your light and shine your heart shine your light and shine your heart you And put your hand on your beautiful heart And put your hand on your beautiful heart And say I love you I love you Close your eyes, feel your breath beneath that beautiful heart. Yes, there's a beautiful heart in your chest.